Welcome to a new episode of The Criminolibrary, where we discover the dark secrets that lie in the recesses of the human mind. Today, we delve into the chilling case of John Edward Allen, known as The Fool, a man whose friendship and affection for a 17-month-old girl ended in unimaginable tragedy. In 1937, Oxfordshire, England witnessed a crime that left an indelible mark on criminal history. The victim, Kathleen Diana Lucy Woodward, an innocent girl, and hers her killer, a man once close to her family who in a sinister and bewildering twist strangled her with a grass. What drove Alan to commit this heinous act? What was life like for him in the asylum, the daring escape and eventual recapture of him? Join us as we explore the darker corners of this story, examining the psychology, research, and events that led to a national upheaval. Sit back, subscribe if you haven't already, and get ready for a hair-raising trip into the world of criminology with the Criminolibrary. John Edward Allen Known as, The Fool Classification, Killer Features, Professional Rivalry Number of Victims, 1. Date of Crime, June 19, 1937 Date of Arrest, June 22, 1937 Date of Birth, 1911 Victim Profile, Kathleen Diana Lucy, a 17-month-old girl Method of Crime, Strangulation with a Esparto Rope Place, Oxfordshire, England, Great Britain Status, Sentenced to Death Commuted to confinement in a mental institution on November 6, 1937 Escaped on July 20, 1938 Recaptured on May 19, 1947 Released on September 18, 1951 John Edward Allen, The Fool 26-year-old kitchen boy at the Lamb Hotel in Burford, Oxfordshire, convicted of the murder of 17-month-old Kathleen Diana Lucy Woodward and sentenced to death at trial on October 21, 1937. A few months before the crime, John Edward Allen had had very good relations with the girl's parents, Messrs Woodward, also employed at the Lamb Hotel. According to her mother's testimony, Allen had shown great affection for Kathleen, often playing with her and taking her for rides on her bike. On June 19, 1937, he told Mrs. Woodward, Fred told me to take the girl for a walk. As her mother warned him, be careful, John, don't hurt her. He led her out of the house, after giving her two pence to entertain herself. That same day John Edward Allen disappeared, the girl's body was found by the side of a path in Fulbrook, Oxfordshire. She had been strangled with esparto grass and still had the tuppence in her hand. On June 21, Allen turned himself in at the Southwark, London, police station, and the following day he was charged with murder. Wisps of esparto grass were found in his clothes. At trial it was revealed that the defendant had been committed twice to an asylum and, in delivering their verdict, the jury recommended that an inquest be conducted into his mental state. Mrs. Woodward claimed that John Edward Allen had murdered her daughter out of professional rivalry, he was envious of me, I had been commissioned to bake cakes for a banquet, it made me hate myself, I know, I was envious. On November 6, 1937, his death sentence was commuted and he was confined in the Broadmoor Penitentiary Asylum, where he apparently led a happy life acting as a member of the institution's musical band, which bore the name of the Broad Humorists. The following July 20, he managed to escape disguised as a Protestant pastor with the clothes he had used in musical performances. Until his capture, which took place on May 19, 1947, the press always referred to him as El Loco, during the time he was free the police received innumerable calls from excited citizens who claimed to have seen the fugitive. Allen wrote a book about Broadmoor, in Broadmoor, W. H. Allen, in which he called his escape incredibly easy and as reckless as it can be to walk through Piccadilly at rush hour. During his two years of freedom he had gotten a job and, upon being re-interned at Broadmoor, he petitioned to be exempted from paying taxes. John Edward Allen was released from prison on September 18, 1951. Conclusion The case of John Edward Allen, 
Nickname the Fool is a heartbreaking story that shows us how the human mind can be an enigma, even to those closest to us. The innocent life of Kathleen Diana Lucy Woodward was stolen in an act that still defies comprehension today. Rivalry, envy, and a troubled mind led to a crime that shook an entire nation. The shock of the story does not stop at the murder, Alan's later life, his time in Broadmoor, his escape, and his eventual freedom, add layers of complexity to a case that will continue to be the subject of study and reflection. Farewell. Thanks for joining us on this episode of The Criminolibrary. If this case has intrigued you, don't forget to like it and share it with friends and family. Your support helps us continue to explore the most fascinating and disturbing cases in the world of criminology. Subscribe if you want to be aware of new episodes and leave us a comment below with your thoughts on the case. Until the next episode, stay safe and keep questioning the mysteries that surround us. See you soon at the Criminal Library.